Welcome to MDB Electrosoft. In this video, we are going to make a distance measuring wheel. It is a wheel along with a circuit measures the distance in terms of feed and display it on the 7 segment LED. This is the circuit of distance measuring wheel. These are the two decade counter and 7 segment display driver IC4026. These are 7 segment display. It is a triple five timer IC. It is a hall effect sensor. It has three pins. First is connected to the VCC, second is connected to the ground and third is its output pin. The output of this hall effect sensor is connected to second pin of the IC and we get the output on pin number three which is then given as a clock to this least significant IC. When the power is provided to the circuit, initially both the 7 segment display will display the zero. When the Hall effect sensor sends the magnet close to it, it will produce the output and gives as an input to the IC. Thus, this IC will produce the clock and it is given to the decade counter and then drives the display which will increase its counting from zero to one. For the second clock given to the IC, it will again drive the display and increase the counting from 1 to 2. Similarly, it will display up to 9 for the next coming clocks. When the maximum count 9 on the display will reach, then for the next clock, this LSB IC will send a clock to the MSB IC. And thus, this IC will drive this display and it will increase its counting from 0 to 1. At the same time, it will roll over 0. For the next clock again, this display will increase the counting from 0 to 9 and when it again reach to 9 for the next clock, this second IC will provide the clock to the first IC and this display will increase its counting from 1 to 2. Thus, in this way, the measured distance is displayed on the 7 segment display. It is a switch which reset the counter and brings the display on 0. It is an output indicator LED. We will need all these components to make the circuit. First of all, take the printed circuit board PCB. Images of different components are printed on the PCB, so we have to mount the components on their images carefully. Take the lids of the components which can be used as a jumper on the PCB. We have to mount the jumpers over here. J1, J4, J5, J6 and J2. So, bend the lid and mount it over here. It will look like this. Similarly mount all the remaining jumpers. All the jumpers are mounted. Now apply the flux from the other side. Flux facilitates and helps in soft soldering. Take soldering iron, solder wire and now perform the soldering. Solder all the lids of the jumpers. Now cut off the extra lids with the help of the cutter. Take two 16 pins of IC base. We have to mount this IC base over here such that the notch of the IC base will align the notch of the image. Similarly mount another IC base. Now take 8 pin of IC base. Mount this base over here. Similarly align the notch of the IC base with the notch of the image carefully. Apply the flux and perform the soldering. Solder all the pins of the IC base. After the soldering, it will look like this. Take two decade counter and seven segment display driver IC4026. Mount these ICs on the IC base and align the notch. It is a triple five timer IC. Mount it over here and align the notch. This is a capacitor of 0.1 microfarad. Mount this capacitor over here as shown in this video. Bend the terminals and perform the soldering. Cut off the extra terminals. 
take an electrolytic capacitor of 10 microfarad. The terminal close to this white band is the negative terminal and this is positive terminal. Mount this capacitor over here carefully. Now perform the soldering. Cut off the extra terminals. Take a strip of connectors. Cut this strip into pieces of 5 leads. These are the connectors. So take 4 connectors and mount them over the images of 7 segment display. Mount the connectors as shown in this video. Apply the flux and perform the soldering. Take two 7 segment display. Mount this display over these connectors. It will look like this. We have to mount the jumper over here J3 also. And perform the soldering. Cut off the extra lids. Now take two resistors of 10 kilo ohm. Bend the resistor and mount it on the image of resistor R1. Take another resistor and mount it on R4. Now perform the soldering. Cut off the extra terminals. Take a resistor of 4.7 kilo ohm. Mount it on R3. Perform the soldering. Cut off the terminals. Now again take a resistor of 330 ohm and mount it on the image of resistor R2. Bend the terminals, do the soldering, cut off the extra terminals. Now take a switch. We have to mount the switch over here as shown in this video. Now perform the soldering. Now take a LED. The smaller terminal is a cathode and the bigger terminal is anode. Mount the LED over here such that anode is connected to the resistor. Bend the terminals. Now perform the soldering. Cut off the extra terminals. Take a battery connector. It has two wires, red and black. Mount the battery connector on the image of the connector such that black wire is connected to the ground and red wire is connected to the VCC. Now perform the soldering. Take three wires. Remove the insulation of the wires with the help of the cutter as shown in this video. Twist the wire. Dip it into the flux and mount the wire on the image of the connector here. Bend the wire and perform the soldering. Cut off the extra wire. Similarly connect the two remaining wires. Now take a Hall effect sensor. It has three terminals. We can recognize the terminals of the sensor. For that, face the curved side of the sensor and thus this is the VCC. It is a ground terminal and it is the output terminal. Put in the terminals of the wires. We have to connect these wires to the sensor. Take the red wire. It is connected to the VCC. So connect this wire to the first terminal of the sensor, VCC. Solder this wire. Now take this gray wire. It is connected to the ground. So connect this wire to the second terminal of the sensor. Solder the connection. Now take the orange wire and connect it to the third terminal of the sensor. This wire is connected to the pin number 2 of 555 timer IC. Now solder the connection. This Hall effect sensor is connected now. Make the firm connections of the wires with the circuit. So apply the glue over the wires as shown in this video. Now take this rotating wheel. It is provided with a rod to hold this tool. Mark two equidistant points at the end of the diameter of a wheel as shown in this video. Now take two small magnets of any shape. We need to check the poles of the magnets. So take a 9 volt battery and connect it to the circuit. As we know opposite poles of the magnet attract each other. Therefore with the help of the Hall effect sensor we will check the poles. Now you can see when the sensor is brought close to the magnet the counting on the display is increasing. That means we have to attach the magnet as it is now facing the sensor. Now again you can see when the sensor is brought close to this magnet there is no change on the display. 
which means we need to change the pole. So turn the magnet. Now you can see the counting on the display is again increasing. So attach this magnet as well as it is. We have to attach these magnets on these two points. So apply the glue and attach both the magnets as shown in this video. Circumference of this wheel is 2 feet. So these two magnets are 1 feet apart from each other. And thus both the magnets are at equidistance now. Just below this magnet on this rod, we have to attach the sensor. So apply the glue and attach the sensor. Keep in mind the sensor should face the magnet. Now on this rod over here, we have to attach the circuit. So apply the glue and attach the PCB of a circuit. Now take a battery of 9 volt. Attach the battery close to the circuit here. So again apply the glue and attach the battery over it. Now connect the battery to the circuit. Initially the display will show zero. Now rotate the wheel. You can observe when the magnet is brought close to the sensor, there is a change on the display. The numbers on the display are nothing but the distance in feet. Now we will show you how the distance is measured through this distance measuring wheel. Connect the battery. Initially it will show the zero. Now move the wheel with the help of a rod. The wheel is rotating and measuring the distance. At the same time the distance in feet is displayed on the 7 segment LED. In this way this distance measuring wheel works. For measuring the distance again, press the switch and it will reset the circuit. To order this kit, you can contact on 9604922180. For more information and for more interesting kits like this, you can visit in the hobby kit section of our website www.mdbelectrosoft.in.